Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Mr. Dogboat333, and welcome back to Arch of Iron Four Kaiser as the Sultan of Egypt. In the last video, we finished up the uh, Congress and we uh, declared our interest in the Syrian lands over here, which may have uh, upset some more people than in maybe Warth, but we'll have to wait and see. In the meanwhile, we're sending some volunteers to help our brothers in law over in the Emirate over here. Because good old Idris has risen up. Uh, they're honestly doing pretty good on their own right now. That We might not even need to... Uh... I wonder if we really need to help them. But we will. Anyway, Libyans are moving fast. I wonder if our volunteers are going to show up in time. Anyway, so we got Radio Free Palestine. I think what we should do... Let's coordinate with uh, Al-Fatat. Jam... Iyat al-Arabia al-Fatat, or the Young Arab Society, was founded in the aftermath of the Young Turk Revolution as an attempt to counter Turkish nationalism and strive for the autonomy of Arab citizens. During the war, the organization further expanded and played a key role in the abortive Hejaz Revolt. Although many of its members were jailed after the war, it has continued to operate in the shadows, waiting for the right time to strike. Let's help them out. Sound like it could be very, very beneficial to us. Sierra Leone's capitulated, although they seemed to have to still be alive. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Um. Ah, oh, the Ikvan revolt, right. Um. Assyria's won, my friends. They've joined the Entente. And yeah, better them than the Turks. I'll allow it. For now. We had some uh, camels rise up over here. Which is interesting. Um, Mexico is going after Guatemala. Italian Civil War is resuming. Interesting. See what happens there. Um, I wonder if my vol sending my volunteers is even going to be necessary. Do the Ick one have a focus tree? I'm just curious. Nope. Just a generic one. Damn. They kicked ass. They really did. Um, Idris did it? Turks losing Libya twice in three decades. L of the century. Truly. Truly. And meanwhile, our, uh, brave, brave volunteers have returned from Assyria. Alexandria. We're going to go and promote a Muhammad over here. Give an infantry le expert. For our field marshal, we'll do charismatic. And no, uh, org first. Ironically we, or ironically, we selected that second instead of first. Bolivia's capitulating. The communists are having a pretty good game. In uh, this part of uh, the world, aren't they? Paraguay's thick too. Goddamn. They're just kind of chilling and doing their own thing. Well, they might get uh, whooped by the uh, Argentine commune coming up. But until that happens, they're more successful. <laughs> Perhaps. 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 
It looks like a couple of these nations have survived for the most part and have pieced out, although would die over here. Still in a weird little limbo situation. And because there's a lake there, it, they're just going to stay at war, I think. Unless there's a set peace deal. Toad artillery. That's, um... Yeah, that would help us with artillery production. We're okay manpower wise. Let's uh let's get some more artillery going. Coordinate with those guys. Next I think Well shoot, what do we want? Should probably rush down uh get the inexperienced military out of the way. Let's improve officer corps, expanding the curriculum of the newly rechristened Egyptian military academy will further extend the education of our officers, formalizing basic education for NCOs and expanding courses in the field of language, foreign affairs, and technical education will broaden I'm getting a phone call right now. I can't I'm sorry. Uh, will broaden the intellectual horizons of Egyptian officers and enhance their prestige of our military. Uruguay has won the World Cup. Landers Wallonia has done some stuff. Southwest Africa has won. Looks like they're going to try to... Uh, Return. Uh, re reestablish the uh, Middle Africa. I mean, good luck, I guess, but you're gonna need luck. Let's see, um. Mm -hmm. The person who called left a voicemail, and I don't know how to tell. I don't know how to get my voicemail anymore because I had visual voicemail or whatever it's called, and that would just pop up and uh, give me all my options. But I guess the trial expired or some crap, and now what? Uh... Okay, what happened there? Because I thought Nez won that, but I guess not. Anyhow. Yeah, I can't check my voicemail anymore. Because it, it forced me to put in a password. I thought I knew the password, but it turns out I do not. So, uh, fuck me. Oh, Wrangler is in charge. Okay. That is interesting. Um, it dials the number, but then tells me pa uh, put in a password. That's how mine works, I think. So, I I don't know. I don't know, okay? The Young Men's Muslim Association has recently been founded. The YMMA is rather similar to the Young Men's Christian Association. It helps to organize various recreational ac activities, from religious studies of the Quran to various athletic activities, particularly football. Furthermore, it received plenty of attention for its efforts to help with the Education in Egypt. <laughs> I kind of do, yeah. It's fun to stay at the YMMA. It's fun to stay at the YMMA. Does that have the same uh, implication as it does in our timeline? The YMCA? That's my question. A lot of questions the Muslim world is going to have to start asking soon. I think. Fucking draft looking ass. A little bit. Um. So Idris has taken all this over. Are they just gonna stay at war? 
Or what's the deal there? Lebanese fanboys will conquer the Holy Land. Perhaps so. Monarchy's been restored to Greece, interestingly enough. Um, looks like the Belgrade Pact has gone their own way for now. I'm curious to see whether they'll go for uh, Megali or not. But uh, we shall wait and see. Next, go and do Egyptian General Staff. By granting greater autonomy of a chief of staff, we can create a department modeled on the German general staff, dedicated to the study of all aspects of warfare, drawing up plans for mobilization and campaigning. This way we can effectively marshal our resources and ease the burden of planning our army. Beautiful. Beautiful. Our industry in Alexandria is coming along. Um, I don't think they... Uh, from what I remember when I played Romania, they can't... Uh, make any decisions until they take, take over uh, Transylvania. Uh, so I can check and see how it's progressing. It looks like they're going more towards the monarchy side of things. So that's what it looks like so far. But a ton of things can change, so we'll have to wait and see. I don't know if I just pop this early or if it's just uh, gonna stay like this. But right now it's just kind of uh, doing this. I threw my mouth a little bit every time. I don't blame you. I do not think I blame you for that. It's not a pleasant thing. The, uh... Brown shirts versus the reds. I don't know who I want to win here. I don't know if it matters who wins for us, though. Um, the Italian, uh, the red Italians are grinding a lot more troops against, so if I had to guess... Probably, I'd probably root for the INR. Or if I... They might end up winning, rather. I don't know if I still want to root for them or not. But... Well, if they win, we might have some irredentist desires on our Libyan allies. Potential Libyan allies? Potential Libyan territory? I'm not sure. All I do know is that, uh... We'll keep our eye on it, for sure. Something to keep our eyes on. <sighs> I'm gonna swap this guy over to our usual divisions. Russia versus Finland. Well, good luck with that, Finland. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they're uh, they're long for this world. New Egyptian army. Let's get this going. Modern, powerful, and strong. Not since Muhammad Ali. Not since the Muhammad of Ali has the army of Egypt been more respected or more feared. Never again shall Egypt be ruled by foreign power. Her armies shall see the motherland proud and free. 
is part of the modernization program. One of the things that have been brought up is that we should build a brand new, grand new library to help s- celebrate the new Egypt. Those that support the fairness identity believe that we should build a new and modern library of Alexandria in Alexandria, while the Islamists believe that we should instead build a new modern house of knowledge in Cairo. What should we build? We'll do the uh, Library of Alexandria. Oh yeah, that that is kind of giraffey. I noticed. <laughs> uh, I'll turn away. Uh, sorry to. Ooh. Yeah, now it's pushing. Oh, oh shit. Oh, they might win. They might take Turin. This is starting to captivating to watch. <laughs> He has joined them. Let's get delay going. Ooh, two sisters are going after the SRI as well. That's probably just going to be the death blow right there. Because they're already getting pushed back a little bit. The SRI on top of them. Whew. They're not going to be long for this world, are they? I could be completely wrong and they might uh, do an epic uh, turnaround. But I don't know if I will be wrong. Kev agrees with me. And I always trust Kev's opinion on matters. So, uh... Looks like we're two for one. Let's see if we can't get working on. We don't have the army experience yet. Never mind. Well, I think we will. Yeah, we will after we finish up our focus. Once I do that, I'll get uh, working on 20 wits. And converting our troops over to them. Oh, yeah, we've taken over uh, this valley over here. Russia looks a lot, or Finland looks a lot skinnier. Yeah, Swan Lower Dam was an ambitious project for the British, and it's complete incomplete state, a testament to the British legacy in Egypt. In 35, Sultan Fuad was approached by the Greek Christian Adrian Daninos to build a second dam to control the Nile's annual flooding. Today is that glorious day. The Swan Lower Dam is finally complete, allowing Egypt unparalleled control over the Nile. The only question is, is who to honor? Should we honor Ibn al-Haytham, who first envisioned the dam in the days of the Caliphate? Should we name it after our honored guest, Adrian Daninos, instead? It was he that made it possible. I think we should give credit to the guy who helped build it. Let's give it credit to Dininos. It's one that makes most sense to me, at least. And then... We could do railroad expansion. That gives us three railways. Uh, civilian investments... Modernized agriculture. We have quite the variety of options, don't we? It's the military investments. One of the easiest areas in which we can expand our industry is in arms production, over which we have a great deal of in direct influence. Encouraging the domestic production of licensed German firearms will not only support the economy, but arm the nation. Well, that's our timer, but before I end the video, 
And probably the second of the stream. The fall of Boston? Oh, what happened there? Oh no, in New England. Okay, that's interesting. Also, I don't know what the fuck's going on in America. Something wa wonky. Pretty sure really goes through the first of Millie's five, and I kind of dig it. I dig it too, honestly. The weather our military might will hold up, uh, be comparable to that of Prussia. We'll have to wait until next time. So all of YouTube people, thanks for watching. Like you like, dislike if you didn't. Uh, leaving comments down in the comment section below. Check out my various links down in the description box below. And that's it for now. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.